Well guys, the package has arrived. What is up guys, Levi Peterson here, back at it with another YouTube video. As you can tell from the beginning of the video, I'm really excited and I got a package that I've been waiting for quite a while now. Um, it shipped yesterday and it was obviously overnighted here. We got a Christmas tree worm rock and I'm super excited. I've wanted one of these for a long, long time. So we got it in there acclimating. It's already been in there for about 20 minutes. I'll probably get, give it up maybe 30 more minutes just to kind of fully adjust to make sure um, to the water temperatures and everything. And then we'll maneuver it around in the tank and we'll go from there. But thanks to BSA Corals, they got the best selection of Christmas tree worm rocks out there that you can get. So go check them out on Facebook and I will have their link in the description below straight to their website. So other than that, we're going to let this acclimate and we'll be back shortly. Now it's time to take it out of the bag and put it in the tank. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and show you a quick little short montage of the rock itself. There's four worms opened up right now. As I can tell, I believe there's either five or six worms because there's plenty of other holes. And I can tell there's a couple worms in a few of the other holes. And there is a hermit crab, so we're really excited for that as well. Um, just some real fun species to keep. So I'm going to, like I said, throw a quick montage and then we'll wrap it up. So I always get questions on how I feed my worms and everything because I don't know why, but everyone wonders because some people have them in the reef tanks, some people don't. They are really cool additions to normal reef tanks, especially non-photosynthetic reef tanks. So if you had the question on how I'm going to feed it, this is a non-photosynthetic reef tank. It's 75 gallon. Um, I feed this thing two to three times a day. Um, so it gets quite a bit of food. A lot of people all, always ask what I feed this tank. That is strictly reef nutrition. I feed reef nutrition to all my systems in my room and in our house. Um, even my parents feed reef nutrition to their tank, so which I think is awesome. Uh, this tank gets a bunch of Phyto Feast and Oyster Feast. Um, this is a container of Phyto Feast right here. And as you can tell, I got a bunch of reef nutrition bottles in the back. But Phyto Feast is actually concentrated phytoplankton. You can get it in the live version as well, but concentrated works very well. Um, polyps love it on every single Gorgonian and uh, the chili coral loves it as well. And especially oyster feast. This is oyster feast right here. Oyster feast I broadcast feed with phytoplankton. I feed them separately though. Usually I feed oyster feast in the morning and at night. And it depends sometimes if some of my gorgonians are not opened or even a chili coral. Spray a little bit of oyster feast on it and it recognizes those particles as food so it opens up real big. So that's always a plus. Other than that, I do, I do feed the tigger feast and just normal tigger pods and arctipods. Um, as well as apex pods, and then there's mice's feast and beta brine and stuff like that. That all gets fed in this tank and cycled every now and then. So, other than that, like I said, I shouldn't have a problem keeping this stuff. Um, I've kept most of these gorgs for about three to four months now, and a couple of them have been in here for almost a year now. So, really excited. Uh, they were over in the 29 gallon before I moved them over to the 75. If you follow my channel, you'd know that. Other than that, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to be the fish and keep reefing. We will see you on the next video.